Hello, my Pisces friends. Welcome to your July 16th through 31st, 2020 reading. This is a collective reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that being said, let's move right into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirits, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed reading. Thank you for your presence. We appreciate your energy. Here comes a messenger, page of swords, bringing in some, some abundance. We like that. The six of pentacles with the star card and the strength card, the Leo major arcana and Aquarius major arcana. We have the seven of wands, the knight of wands and the four of cups. We have the King of Rods, the Magician, and the Five of Rods in Career and Finance. Ooh, nice. You have the Ten of Cups in the Underlier position. This is a beautiful energy of the, the an accomplishment or achievement being made. This usually means very good harmony in the household. If it is not happening this second, it is on its way. Because this is the Underlier, so it means it is the base of the reading. So... It can have to do with uh, accomplishing something regarding your family or the household itself. Um, we have the Page of Swords. Beautiful energy of a message coming in or information being given regarding something that is more than you expected. So this is a good thing. It's a, it's a bonus or a windfall. We have the star card, which is the Aquarius Major Arcana, but it is a soul ascension energy. It's where the third eye is activated, and the energy is really flowing for your soul's desire, being told yes by the universe. So this is a big, big wish being granted, your mission in life here. And we have the strength card, which is the Leo Major Arcana, helping you to move into that goal. So you're being protected as you move toward it. The uh, Archangel Ariel is the Lion of God, and so it's helping move toward this and keep you protected as you go in it. Now, this is relationship, love life, and spiritual life, but it looks like it's all about the work here. Uh, this is saying hang in there. Don't, don't settle. Don't give up. Don't settle. It's saying stick to your guns. Stand your ground. The night indicates action or something movement happening happening something starting up and there is an offer here and usually coming this is not usually it always comes from divine this is the the way it comes in however you have to remember sometimes it's coming from a person that you may not think is who should be delivering it so uh, you have to remember that the universe uses everyone equally uh, to deliver and give and be part of something to help them also to redeem some of the bad things and negative karma they've done. So it may come as an offer from someone that you you wouldn't think would be the one to give it to you. Don't turn it away just because it's not somebody that you want to, to be the one who gives it to you, right? You, you don't want to cancel out their ability to have a return a blessing either. So You've got to be in a place of understanding that not everything comes exactly how we want it, but when we need it, it's showing up. You don't want to turn it away. The King of Rods. This is either self-employment or being employed, so very good energy here. We have the Magician, which is the energy of manifesting with positive energy, whatever your goals are, overcoming whatever obstacles are happening. Sometimes these are people at your job that are causing drama and sometimes it's something that you just have to overcome a small little thing this is just you're not in the battle alone and it's something that you have to overcome that is is kind of a sticking point not a terrible thing that you have to overcome just a small thing 
So, Pisces, let's see what, uh, this is a beautiful, this is the cup's energy for you, Pisces, so don't forget that's your, that's your suit is the cup, so. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. Well, we got the right decision being made with the Justice card, justice being done. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Hello. Nine of Pentacles. Pisces. Awesome. And the Aquarius Major Arcana a second time. Very wonderful. So, Capricorn's trying to squeeze in here, and that is the energy of the devil, which can be self-sabotage or someone being just awful. Um, we have the King of Cups and the Eight of Swords. The Tower, the Ten of Rods. It's a new job coming in, so don't worry. You're, you're going to be able to move forward. The change brings the clearance for you to move forward. So, Seven of Swords, walking away from what no longer serves you. For some of you, this is a job change. So you get to let go of what didn't work and move forward. Letting, letting, giving your two weeks notice and moving on. Some of you are just moving on because you've got, um, you were able to get out of there or they, they, maybe you've been on unemployment. We've got the Page of Swords, which is the energy of, um, information coming in and this is the right decision being made so they are either choosing you or you have chosen to take a job it's going to pay more than you expect a lot more <laughs> ten of pentacles ain't, ain't no joke this is lifetime of money so it's either lump sum money this can be a judgment for somebody if you've got some kind of settlement out there that's coming in um, it's 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 a good good thing happening so, you get to move towards your, your spiritual destiny. The universe will provide continuously. That is this Nine of Pentacles, the Garden of Eden. The Strength card, Leo Major Arcana, with another destiny card of the Aquarius. Having your soul's desire being granted side by side. Like, we're not even talking about a whole another section. This is a double... A double thing here so that's pretty amazing we have the seven of wands which is telling you to hang in there don't let yourself get into this devil energy of self-sabotage if it's a Capricorn in your life that's not negative however it can be a negative Capricorn um, don't let yourself get too much into uh, restrictive energy or addictive energy Okay, stand it, hang in there. If you're changing or quitting smoking cigarettes or quitting alcohol or quitting, uh, I had to quit eating uh, carbs again because I was blowing up like a balloon. This is that moment where you can't let the devil win. Okay, stick to your grant, stick to your guns. Don't don't give up. You've got this King of Cups, which is the energy of your Pisces King here. So you're very much in a place of feeling in charge and able to take action. Uh, there's the, the gift of the cup being given, an offer, and the Eight of Swords. Don't overthink it. This is telling you don't try to make it logical. Miracles aren't logical. We just have to remember that. Stay in your spiritual energy and go with, the, go with your uh, gut and allow yourself to be guided. You're in that very strongly because of the two uh, star cards here, okay? You, you are being right there plugged in. So you, you are very in touch with the, with the divine energy. So there's the new job. And the tower removes all the blocks. So some of you may be waiting to go to work because of some, um, something that the company has to get through before it's time for them to hire again. Maybe there's some kind of restriction that's being lifted. We have the magician. Uh, staying solid with your manifestation and there it comes the blooming energy of the ten of rods which means all that struggle is over and you're able to start fresh 
moving into this new location and starting to work. It may be working from home for some of you. And uh, the struggle, again, is over. We have the Hierophant. So this is being called in and asked to come and join this particular entity, which is uh, would be a large corporation, a hospital, government agency, um, anything that has a lot of people working there. So university, that kind of thing. This is the keys to the kingdom. Many blessings to you, Pisces. This is a really awesome reading. I'm so happy to give it to you. Love, light, and abundance to you, and I'll see you again in August. Namaste.